Panthers hit their fourth game in a six-game in ten-day streak with the visit of Manchester Storm. Manchester Storm had not booked their place in the playoffs. They came into Nottingham knowing a win would mean if Coventry were to lose at Sheffield in their final game, Manchester would be in the playoffs this year and not be heading early to the golf course. How would this one unfold? Panthers were already locked into fourth and knew 48 hours later, big rival Sheffield, who they're likely to face in the playoffs, were coming to town. Pension. Steven Schultz carries some speed. His speed guillotine on the way there. Now Manchester Storm looking to pounce on the opportunity. Henry Patzel makes the save on Carter. Or Cartier, pardon me. Exchanging to the half ball with Brad Moran. He's going to funnel in. And right back for Williams. Looking to uncork one and did. It was tipped on the way, but tamely. And it goes for Clement for an easy stop there. 7.48 still remaining of the opening stanza here at the Nationalized Center. It's difficult for them, but Henry Henry's done great. I mean, he's a young kid. Really enjoyed uh, really enjoyed watching him. Oh, great Ooh. shot. Really Ring. enjoyed watching him this year. Ringing the iron there was Robert Farmer, and it looks like he put some Tabasco in that shot too, but it stays out. That was a good shot by Farmsy. Backhand sauce pass. Chris Lawrence will clean it up. Makes the move as well. Then activates Schultz. He's looking to find a person to relay to. No, he's actually going to take the shot, and it's going to go out of play. Uh, lower body count, you know, it's definitely going to favor the team. Normally, anyways, it's going to favor the team more bodies. But you know, we got to obviously use that to our advantage. And you know, right now, give them credit. They're uh, they're playing well. They're taking it to us a little bit. And Patzel, the rebound spits out after the spicy shot coming in from Trevor Johnson, and it's tapped in there. There you go, folks. It's Jack Prince skating in first. Keep the keep the motive, keep the uh, forward momentum is what I'm trying to spit out going here. And clutch win there. there but, oh, oh, they're looking to get in. It's all tied up. Oh, he lost it. Steven. Still lost it. He's down. He's out of the net. <laughs> oh, he's scrambling. That net is off there its it is. legs. But it's been awarded, but it looks like that left post is not pegged down, and that's what the Manchester Storm are complaining about. I think he kicked it off himself, though, is what the ref's saying there. He's pointing that he kicked it, so he's counting it, but, you know, I'm not familiar with the rule there. Just because he kicked it off himself, they're going to count that or not. They're, now they're going to review it. Awarding it, if you look at the body language by, uh, by Johnson. Yeah, there you go, folks. It's even Steven here at the National Ice Center, one apiece. Pitch to the interior, no one home. It's Schultz with the diagonal feet. Nice pick up there by Matt Carter, looking to make the back half pass. Chris Lawrence, oh, what a save by Clemente. He robbed him there. Pup forward by the Manchester Storm on his off wing. Valchuk drops it in. Oh, what a nice shot. That's an absolute dart by Trevor Johnson. And a great feed. Very good patience there. Coming down the slot, uh, held on to a little bit longer than uh, I think everything everybody thought he was going to. Kind of fooled Henry. Nice blocker save. Chris Lawrence spinning in. Tried to find Carter. He did, but not controlled. Swindlehurst leading the charge. The backhand pass. Oh, it didn't go in. Wow. That is something else. That's a nice break for the Panthers right there. Capitalize on that now. That looked like a layup from up here, but obviously everything looks a lot easier than it is from <laughs> up here. And that pass is going to go awry, kept in by Johnson. He's going to rifle it off the plexi, and then it's going to be settled down. Nice little play there by 16. Oh, the shot comes in. Oh, knee hockey there by Jeff Brown. Couldn't just quite get it in. That's been a great shift for uh, Jeff Brown, though. Yeah, he, I mean, when you work as hard as he does, he doesn't have too many bad shifts. And uh, to top it all off, a little bit of windmill action there by Henry Patzel. And the Panthers definitely got the better of the storm in that shift. Brown on the move with the backhand, gets him along. Kept in by Dimon. Then Swindlehurst with a swift move off of Jerzinski. And here's an easy layup. They score! It's Trabuco getting the finishing touch. Just 
just a tough break. Uh, you know, the Panthers are putting so much pressure on him. Speaks heatly at that time. Lee laterally for McMillan. He didn't hesitate to pump it in. Watch Chris Lawrence just flushing and getting in. Oh, he won it too. Lawrence running on the real estate. Schultz! Oh, so unlucky. Found the iron. That's the fourth time the Panthers have hit the red pipe. Oh, back door. Panthers really putting on the pressure here. 35 seconds remaining. It's McMillan. Oh, great attempt there, but blocked. The six skaters on. It's Robert Farmer as Henry Patzel has vacated the cage. Chopped away, and that's going to go out of play, and that's a power play for the that's Nottingham Panthers. Penalty, yep. Jeff Dimon joins us. Goal scorer against Manchester Storm. I mean, Panthers hit the post five times and created a, a clutch of chances that they just didn't put away. And at the end of the day, I had a feel of a team coming in here who was desperate for the points. And, and we're locked into fourth. Yeah, they're uh, they're fighting for their playoff lives, and uh, that was the start of a playoff uh, atmosphere out there. And and you know we uh, we got a lot of chances, and we were just that close. But uh, I guess we were that far away as well. You know, uh, you know we we got our chances, and maybe we just got to bear down a little bit, and maybe we we're a little bit unlucky. Do you think it'll be a different story Friday night against Sheffield? Yeah, I think uh, we got to get ready for playoffs. You know, we're locked in, but uh, you know, playoffs is is one week away, and that starts it starts this week, and we got to get ready. And we haven't been playing as well as we would like this season, and uh, we're trying to ramp it up in time for playoffs. And you know, when you got your uh, biggest rival coming into your building, you got to be ready. And, uh, and it's on top of that, it could be our biggest rival in the playoffs. Yeah, we could see him in the playoffs. So uh, it starts this week. You know, we got to get ready, and uh, it's going to be a battle there on Friday.